In this video, we're going to create an online form using Microsoft Forms so that our users can fill in the form online and we can get our results back in an Excel spreadsheet so that we can track and analyze our data. Microsoft Forms allows us to share or publish our survey out in multiple ways to users so that we can either send them a link, a QR code, or even embed it on a web page. So we'll take a look at those different options. To access Microsoft Forms, just go to forms.office.com and sign in with your Microsoft 365 account. Once you're logged in, you can create a new form or a new quiz right from scratch up here, or I've already started one just to get us kickstarted today. So I'm going to click on that. We're going to edit it and I'm going to show you all the features and functions that you'll need to know so that you can create a form from scratch. I'm going to click on the employee engagement survey down here. And when you first create your survey, you have an option to give it a heading and a description with some instructions. All you have to do is come out, add your heading that you want to title the survey or form, add some instructions down there for that section, and then come down and click on add new for all the different questions that you want to add. I've gone ahead and set this up with a couple of multiple choice questions. If I need to edit those, all I have to do is click on them to select them. I can update the question or the list responses. I can delete an option if I don't need it, or I can add another option if I do want to add another option. If I scroll down, I have another multiple choice op question option that I have set up uh, just the same way, but instead of having the radio buttons for selection for the users, I wanted it to be a drop down. So all I had to do was come over to these three dots and select drop down, and that will change the multiple choice type question to a drop down. I'm going to scroll down and I inserted a Likert type question. And this allows me, if I click on it, I can edit the question. I have different statements over here on the left. If I need to delete those, all I have to do is select and I can delete if I need to, or I can add a new statement if I wanna to add to this. Also on the rating scale at the top, I can edit the labels up here. I can delete them if I don't need them, or I can add new. So if I wanted to add additional options up here, all I have to do is click the plus button. Now I'm going to scroll down and just click on add new just so that you can see the different types of question choices that you can set up as you're building your form or your survey. You have multiple choice, text, rating, date, or you can drop down and select ranking, Likert, or a net promoter. Down here I have a rating scale and that type of question you have the option of selecting different levels. So if I want to have maybe a 10 uh, point scale here, I can either do stars or numbers and I can make different questions required. I have different settings and options that I can set here in Microsoft Forms. Once I'm done creating my form, I can come up here to preview. This will preview my survey of what it's going to look like for users, either on a computer or a mobile device. So I can scroll and make sure that everything looks good the way I want it to. If I click on mobile, this will give me an example of what mobile users will see when they fill in the survey. So they'll be able to select the multiple choice options. They'll be able to drop down and select the drop down option. And when they get down to the Likert area, um, when they click on their responses, the statements will automatically just expand and collapse based on their selections here. So that's how that works on a mobile app. When they're done, they can click submit. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to go back. Once I'm ready to send this out to users, I can click on the send button and I have different ways that I can publish the survey. So I can actually create a link. Uh, I can click on a short link. I can copy this, include it in an email that I can email out. I can click on this button. It'll generate a QR code that I can send out or display. And then I can also click on this button to get the code to embed this on a web page. So there's lots of different ways that I can publish my survey out. I'm going to go ahead and copy this link and let's open up a new tab in our browser and paste that link and hit enter. Let's go ahead and respond to the survey. And submit. 
Now let's go back over to Microsoft Forms, and now we have our response captured. I previously had another response out there, so now we have two responses, and this tab will give us a little bit of a dashboard view of our responses as they come in. And if we want to export our results into an Excel spreadsheet for further tracking and analysis, all we have to do is click on this button to open in Excel. This will download an Excel spreadsheet that we can open. I'm going to click on Enable Editing. And notice that the first several columns of the spreadsheet are going to include information that Microsoft Forms is going to put onto the responses as it tracks them, kind of a serial number, um, the date, and who it came from if it, if it tracked that data. And then from here on, from columns F on, we have all of the responses to our form in our survey. So if we need to, we can sort and filter and analyze the data in Excel. Now let's take a look at how you can create a form. If you have a work or school Microsoft 365 account, you can actually access Excel online and initiate your form from there. And then your form will be dynamically linked to your spreadsheet and you can see real time updates as responses come in. Okay, once you're logged into your work account, let's open up the Excel app and we're gonna select a new blank workbook. And let's go to the insert tab. And notice we have Microsoft Forms right here. Let's go ahead and click on that. And we're going to create a new form. And notice a new browser tab opens up and we're able to start editing and creating a new form that will be dynamically linked to that spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and label our form and put a sample description. And let's just add a few questions here. We'll add a quick multiple choice. Okay, let's click on add new and let's add a new section just so you can see what that will look like for the users. Uh, we're going to drop down and select section and we'll call this section two. And we'll add a quick rating scale here. And let's go ahead and preview to see what that will look like. Notice when you add a new section, it will put a button down here at the bottom so users will have to click next to go to the next section of questions. On a mobile device, the same kind of thing. They'll have back and next buttons that they can go to to go to the different sections of your survey or your form. All right, if this looks pretty good, we can actually go into the theme here. Uh, we can select a different background. Let's go ahead and just put a different color on this one. And we'll click on the share option shorten the URL, copy, and let's go ahead and respond to this. We'll open up a new browser tab and paste our survey link. We'll fill in our survey and hit submit. Now, when we come back to the tab of Microsoft Forms and we come back, we see that we have our response recorded. We can go to that tab and again, see our dashboard view. But instead of opening in Excel, we can actually just come right back over to the tab that we had open where we initiated our form and see that automatically that submission came in uh, into the spreadsheet. So if we wanted to, we could keep this open. And as respondents come in, they will automatically get added to the spreadsheet. You can save the spreadsheet. You can open this in the Excel desktop app and do further analysis once you've closed the survey or you're done looking at responses. Don't forget to share this video if you found it helpful. You can give it a thumbs up to like it and subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Don't forget to visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.